Hey folks, here at OS Reviews, you're watching our video first look and a quick review at the WeFun 8GB Digital Voice Recorder Wristband. This is a pretty unique form factor because lately we're checking out a few wearables and this one combines uh, digital voice recording as well as listening to MP3 tracks into a almost Fitbit style form factor, which makes it extremely easy to carry around and perhaps discreetly record some memos or if you're at a meeting, recording those or perhaps lectures if you're a student. Um, it looks pretty attractive from the front, has some glossy aluminum and plastic parts, but again, some people will definitely mistake this for a fitness tracker if they didn't know uh, exactly what it was, uh, which is again an mp3 player slash digital voice recorder. Um, otherwise, the contents of the packaging are interesting because aside from this, it also comes with a micro USB cable for charging and also an adapter cable which transforms the micro USB port into a 3.5 millimeter port. You have to use this adapter if you want to plug in a pair of headphones to listen to music. There isn't a integrated 3.5 mil jack as you can see along the body so make sure you don't lose that adapter otherwise you can't directly listen back to your tracks using this that can only record music. Um, otherwise uh, the design of the unit is pretty good it has a soft silicone material the band is comfortable enough to be worn um, for both men for women and also for, also for kids so you can just tighten up the straps it's a universal and uses a metal clasp on the other side which does attract a few fingerprints as well as scratches. The front has this nice chrome etched finish. There isn't a screen on this thing however so it's a very discreet look. There's just one LED which will illuminate red when it has begun recording uh, and also to blink a few times to indicate the mode that you are in. Uh, otherwise a very shiny metallic finish that also attracts a few fingerprints and scratches over time and the other side features controls for the volume up and down but also dubs uh, as cycling through the interface. So uh, let's say you want to listen to music you need to plug in the headphones using the adapter and afterwards you, you press on the minus key to launch into the music player and listen back to your tracks, which it works well enough. Of course, it can also be used as a thumb drive to store some content like documents, for instance. The back features some basic info as well as uh, cutouts and labels for the various parts, such as the headphone, as you can see, is just with the micro USB port. Uh, there's a dedicated on-off switch, which is pretty easy to use, uh, and once you turn it on, you're basically ready to record. As you can see, the LED has been illuminated. The frame here is again made out of this plastic material as well as some aluminum accents along the sides. So with 8 gigs of built-in memory, it is definitely good enough for uh, most folks as far as recording lectures uh, and whatnot as well as meetings, and it records in terms of format up to 192 uh, kilobits per second or 48 uh, kilohertz, and so you can record up to 48 hours of audio using this thing, which is quite impressive, and then transfer it out onto a computer, PC, or Mac. It's a simple plug-and-play solution without any drivers that are needed. It seems pretty durable as well, so it can probably last you for a while. It doesn't seem like it can break that easily. Absorbs a good amount of shock with the rubber band. Uh, otherwise, it can be used roughly 20 hours after charging it for two hours. So the battery life performance is also fairly long, uh, even if you're listening back to your tracks uh, music. As a music player, it does a decent job. Um, I would say that it is a little bit challenging without a screen to see what track you're on, so you're kind of using this in a style of an Apple iPod Shuffle, if you still remember those. Uh, it doesn't have any display for the track or the song or the artist, but it does play back your tracks in a nice amount of quality, and it plays back any MP3 recordings just fine. So. Overall, as far as uh, features go, it is pretty full, uh, fully packed. The recording format is WAV, so that is something to note, and records a total of 999 files. As as Discussing the quality of the recordings briefly, I found it to be quite acceptable. Uh, the microphone is integrated onto the unit, but it's not a stereo microphone. There's also no way for you to attach an external microphone for a more professional setup. Uh, with that being said, it seems to be quite sensitive, and it can still pick up sounds and noises if you are uh, a few meters away from someone speaking or the audio source uh, and that seems to be fine. If you're moving around it does catch sometimes uh, the, the wind so that's going to be some background sound and noise uh, in your recordings but overall it's not bad. I was actually quite surprised with the clarity here uh, and it rivals most other dedicated just regular voice recorders um, in the price range and same size and form factor. It can also be used for recording voice memos as well as maybe some singing if you are uh, doing that and then bring it out. Obviously not the most professional mic but uh, uh, it does the job um, and also very discreet. I would say that right
rivals for this would include the Spy uh, voice recording pen. That is a design that is being recycled quite a lot these days. And that's another way for you to discreetly record notes, but this one is more secure because it's always on you uh, and it seems like a, a fitness tracker, unless of course you also want to wear a fitness tracker, then you have to wear multiple pieces and that might seem a little bit suspect. But all in all, this is a good design. It's an interesting twist on a wearable uh, and something that we were excited to check out and see. You can find out more details as well as test tracks and data that we collected through the testing process in a written review, but this has been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Review.